Red Bull X Fighters World Tour 2012. Join us on this breathtaking trip around the world. Yeah, X Fighters are in interesting for me. Um, if you probably look at my X Fighters career start to finish, you'll see that I've won one, I've lost a couple, won one, I've lost one, I've won one, I've lost a couple. It's always up and down. You know, when you win, it's awesome, you kind of ride the wave, but then when you lose, you learn a lot, so it kind of seems um, I need to have a couple bad events to have a good one, but uh, that's the thing for me, is trying to keep the good events rolling and not so many bad ones. I got a feeling this is probably my best win I've done. I, I feel like I really had to work for it, and, and there's no point there where I thought I had it. Levi Sherwood won two of the first three contests and made a huge step towards the world to a title. When I first started winning, it was it was like relief and excitement and all the normal things and then once I've kind of won a few it's more just a relief and then when I lose it's just disappointment so pretty much just try win just to avoid the disappointment. I just get disappointed in myself you know I would have made a mistake or, or not rode my best or let something get to me and, and not being in a good mood to ride or something you know just saying some little thing I knew I could have done better and um, yeah, that's the thing, you know, like even if I win an event and I know I didn't do my best, I'll still be a little bit gutted at the end of the day, so it's kind of always just trying to do something better is the challenge. And this is it! There it is! He uh, definitely made, made me work for it tonight and um, it was, uh, yeah, it was a big relief once it's all over. Levi Sherwood is your 2012 Red Bull X Fighters World Tour Champion. Winning X Fighters was definitely, I knew it was kind of possible ever since I first won Mexico. Sherwood, Sherwood takes it, Red Bull X Fighters, Mexico City goes to the kid from New Zealand. Just kind of happened to start with, I just happened to be in the right place at the right time I think and um, it all just worked out. To put it together for a series is a whole nother, um, whole another style of riding and once I kind of figured that out it was a little bit a little bit easier or well, it kind of just all came you know I just wanted to enjoy it I had a couple bad injuries and I just had enough I wanted to be back riding the tour and enjoy riding and and finish a tour for once and that's when it all kind of came together one thing I learned winning the series was um, you don't have to be out there kind of doing the biggest trick every round you know as long as you're out there doing the, the medium-sized tricks pretty well every round you know and, and and limiting the chance of crashing and kind of maximising the chance of finishing, you've kind of put yourself in a pretty good place to win a series. I think the biggest change I've seen in freestyle since I started riding was um, just a little bit more of a professional side come out. You know, it's kind of started from more of a bogan sport or, or all the people trying to rebel to, um, you know, like a, a serious sport with all these sponsors and, and um, big events and stuff, so it's, that's probably the biggest change I've noticed. Yeah, we've got our little mini track out the front, Dad built for all the kids. Kind of just for them to come out and have a place to ride. There's not really too many local mini tracks as such. There's quite a few motocross tracks, but there's nothing where the mini kids can ride on. There's a few local boys around here, and I um, try to get them out and come riding whenever I can, and pretty much whenever they want anyway. So definitely, I think um, over the next few years, I'll try to pass it on to whoever I can, whoever I think is capable. The most important thing for me is having fun. I think everyone's kind of picked that up if they've ever um, watched me or, or watched anything. But um, yeah, I try not to take stuff too serious, eh? Don't want to grow old too soon.